A chemical scare yesterday forced hundreds of West Latonia neighbors to take shelter inside their own homes. Tonight, we're learning more about Interplastics Corporation's history in Northern Kentucky, which includes a lawsuit that was filed by some of those same neighbors two decades ago. Night on Your Side's Josh Bazan is in Latonia tonight. He's been talking to neighbors today. What'd they say, Josh? Hi, Tanya. I'm in Latonia. The company Interplastic Corporation is in Fort Wright. And right here is the neighborhood of Latonia in Covington. Neighbors say they've been dealing with issues like this for decades. I really don't have any. I'm kind of stuck. Glenn Napier says he is out of options. That's it. I mean, you can see their fence line. He's lived in Latonia for 30 years with a view of the plastic plant through the trees in his backyard. Well, I'm so used to smelling it. I mean, it, it, I've had days where it was worse than uh, yesterday. The release of chemicals yesterday was just another example of issues Napier says have been going on since he moved in. The Fort Wright Fire Department says the chemicals do not pose any major health risks for people who might have breathed them in, although they are considered lung irritants. It's a little bit of a challenge because we don't have a lot of sites like this where the industrial and a residential areas back right up to each other. We've seen the fire trucks and ambulance and all that up there, but that's nothing new. Judith Moore was home yesterday when the release happened. She says she's so used to problems at the plant, she didn't think anything of it. Yes, it worries me. It worries me what I'm breathing, and it worries me if it's going to blow up. In 1997, Moore, Napier, and 800 or so of their neighbors sued the plant for releasing styrene into the air, causing health problems among neighbors. The company settled the lawsuit for $4.75 million and agreed to put in better safety measures to prevent accidents going forward. Neighbors say the odors and smells coming from Interplastic Corporation have not improved. Well, yeah, I got COPD. I mean, this just adds to it, you know. They need to be more concerned about the people in the neighborhood. The company tells me it's still investigating what went wrong yesterday and has no comment. It has to file a report with the Kentucky Department of Environmental Protection, which the agency tells me it expects to get sometime tomorrow. I've already reached out to them to get a copy of that when it does come in. Reporting live in Latonia, Josh Bazan, 9 on your side.